cataractcoach.com. The white cataract, blue dye has been instilled. Here comes the fake incision. Let's watch carefully. It's a nice tunnel length. Enters the AC. This looks like a two or three plane incision. That looks great. We do have the video at double the normal speed. We're here to learn. We want to watch as much of the video as possible. So there's a cystitome being used. The left hand is stabilizing the eye while the right hand now is going to use the capsorexis forceps to create a capsorexis. That looks good, coming around nicely, nice and round. I like how the surgeon is floating in the incision. Good technique there. The anterior chamber is not collapsing. That left hand holding the eye does certainly help a lot. So we have a nice uh, round capsorexis, beautifully centered. Time for some higher dissection. Nice and gentle here. Going under the rexus edge. And that looks really good. So this is certainly a denser cataract, not an absolute rock, but a white cataract for sure with, with a significant degree of nuclear sclerosis. So the lens importantly does rotate. So that's an important move that the doctor just did, is rotating the lens nucleus, making sure it's free in the capsular bag. The surgeon's going to use a stop and chop technique here. So here's the phaco probe, right hand, left hand is there holding the second instrument. There we go, cleaning up the anterior cortex. Now, here comes the first groove. So nice, a groove again and again. And it's a little tough sometimes to judge what's the appropriate depth of the groove. But Dr. Oza here does a very good job with that. So again, grooving down there. And then keep looking to see how deep is it. You can often tell compared to how big the phaco probe is. There's a nice split, beautiful split. We have two halves of the nucleus now. Now buzzing into the first half, chopper goes around the equator. Beautiful, nice chop there. So that first hemi-nucleus has been chopped into two halves. These halves can now uh, be emulsified quite easily with a phaco probe. It looks like a bent Kelman tip uh, on the phaco probe, which looks good. The pink sleeve is the smaller bore. Excellent. And it looks like the surgeon is sitting temporally. Here's the second half of the nucleus. Also being emulsified and further chopped, it comes out quite rapidly. That is great. Looking good. So very efficient removal of a tougher nucleus. Now it's time for the cortex removal. So the surgeon has used um, two paracentesis incisions, so it will be a bimanual irrigation aspiration. And that's certainly useful to access 360 degrees of the capsular bag. So here's the instrumentation. Left hand is the infusion. The right hand now is the aspiration. So removing this portion of the lens cortex. Again, we are showing the video at two times normal speed. You can certainly slow it down or rewatch it, but this is an efficient way. That looks good. Most of the uh, cortex has been removed. Now the hand switch comes. Now the right hand is the infusion, and the left hand is the aspiration. You can go there and remove the remaining part of it. Uh, the rexus looks great, beautifully centered, nice and round, appropriate sized. This is looking great. This patient is going to be absolutely amazed. This is one of the magical things that we do in ophthalmology. Patients come in with this white cataract, completely opaque. The preoperative vision is probably hand motion, and the patient can end up with great vision the very same day. This is truly amazing. So the lens coming in, it's going to be a single piece acrylic lens. Going through that small incision, so it looks like the lens loading is happening now. You see the little saccades or patient movement there? That's telling us the patient's under very light sedation. That's probably the breathing. There's the lens being delivered, a wound assist technique, so no enlargement of the wound. Sometimes we like to hold the eye with a chopper with the other hand. If we have a single piece injector, but this is a double-handed injector, so you have to have both hands there. There's the lens, which can be further pushed in the eye. Again, it was a wound technique assist, and that allows a surgeon to use a smaller, probably 2.2 to 2.4 millimeter incision to do the whole phaco as well as deliver the lens. And now here comes the lens. It's uh, beautifully centered, rotating it around a little bit. And you can see that overlap of the optic by that capsorexis edge. 
360. That's great. And of course, to finish up, removal of the viscoelastic and sealing the incision. So, very nice case done by Dr. Derrida Ozer from Turkey. Thank you for watching.